Hey, it's Amy, head of customer experience at Podcastle. Let's get started. So first things first is talking about your podcast setup. It needs to be somewhere you feel comfortable, but is also practical. If you have a PC that you're going to be recording on, make sure that you have a stable desktop. And if you're at home, make sure you're in the quietest room possible. Because sadly, comfort doesn't matter if all your audience can hear is the vacuum cleaner in the background or your dog going tippy tappy on your hardwood floors. Once you found your peace and quiet, it's time to start thinking about the background. Now, I recommend thinking about your personality, but also about the branding of your podcast and the content that you'll be putting out. If you have a podcast that's about gaming, you probably don't want to record it in in a kitchen or maybe your mom's basement that's kind of creepy and has all sorts of weird family portraits or something. You want something that's relevant to the content that you'll be putting out and is on brand. To do this, think about what you love, what matters most to you, and what the brand of your overall podcast will be. And if your podcast isn't about anything in particular, that's totally fine. When you think about your background, you want it just to be visually appealing. For example, look at mine that we have here. It's very basic, but you can see a bit of my personality. I've got some plants, I have my Harry Potter books, and you get a little bit of insight into who I am as a person. Next up is choosing your microphone. Obviously, you're creating a podcast. This is super important. You want something that will give you crisp and clear audio without a whole bunch of different wires that are running all over the place. You also wanna make sure it's something that can hook up to your phone or your computer. My recommendation is what I'm using right now. Now this is the Sennheiser Profile microphone. I love it, it gives you really crisp audio and it also just connects to my computer right through a USB. It also has a fancy boom arm. Can go up and down like this, do whatever I need to do in case I'm podcasting, perhaps from a different location. Seriously though, don't feel like you need to remortgage your house or anything like that in order to buy a great mic. There are so many great options out there that are great in quality and that are like under a hundred bucks. The Blue Yeti from Logitech is a great option. It offers great sound quality. And for some reason, it always seems to be on sale, which is great. And if you're a nerd for customization, you love messing around with different audio interfaces, try an XLR microphone. Now the connection is different than a USB and the setup can be a bit of a hassle, but you get to look like Hannah Montana or have a little bit more of a natural podcasting aesthetic. They're also a great option if you're price conscious. Some of them are starting as low as 20 bucks. Honestly, it doesn't really matter that much because in an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you how to use Podcastle's Magic Dust AI tool. This is an amazing AI tool that removes background noise, cleans up your audio, and makes things sound as crisp as possible. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the upcoming video. Oh, and one more thing to know. I know I'm talking about a lot of different products here. Don't worry, you're in good hands. There's no backroom deals on any of these products. There's no affiliate money that we're getting off of this. I just wanna give great recommendations on the products that I use and what works for many other podcasters just like you. All right, next up is headphones. I know this is kind of weird because I'm not wearing headphones right now, but many of the big podcasters do when they record their podcast and for very good reason. Headphones help you monitor your audio as you're recording and they help make sure that your microphone and any other equipment isn't malfunctioning and making you sound like a dying robot. But if you use an audio and video recording software like Podcastle, you don't really have to worry about using headphones because you'll have a super smooth recording experience and you'll be able to use AI features to clean up the audio once you get to the editing process. Friendly reminder, we'll have an upcoming video going over all of these AI editing tools, so don't forget to subscribe. This is the simpler approach to filming at home versus in a studio, but if you're really into the Joe Rogan look or you dare to record on a software outside of Podcastle, you can find a decent pair for $50, even honestly as cheap as $20. My only recommendation when it comes to headphones is to avoid using something that's Bluetooth. Depending on the software, this can cause annoying delays or connection issues, which obviously we want to avoid. A simple set of wired headphones like these ones from Sony will do the job just fine. Now, before I talk about lighting and all the weird and wonderful accessories that can truly make your podcast pop, let's talk about recording software. You can check out a video comparing five of the biggest podcasting platforms here, but let me just save you some time. Podcastle is a simple, all-in-one platform that lets you record, edit, and publish your podcast all in one place. You can start today on our basic plan for free, or you can use the promo code in the description below for 50% off your first month of the Podcastle Pro plan. You can check out my short intro to Podcastle video here, but save it for later because we're not done yet. Okay, you've got your microphone, your headphones, your podcasting software all set up, but you're sitting in the dark. 
which is fine because you don't have your camera set up yet. And we haven't gone over that for good reason. The best setup in the world won't do your camera justice if your lighting is trash. Now, this might be the part where you think I'm gonna talk about how expensive lighting setup is and how costly it can be, but you are wrong, my friend. Good lighting setup can be free or at least close to it. For example, you might want to avoid sitting with your back to a window. It can create this halo effect, and while your thoughts may be very angelic, you don't necessarily want to look like an angel while you're recording. Also, try not to overexpose your image just for the sake of clarity. You might burn your retinas in the process. So while natural lighting is great, and free, if it's not doing the trick, you might wanna invest in a lighting kit. I'm using the Emart Softbox Lighting Kit. It comes with three bulbs and a tripod, and it's under 50 bucks. But if you're short on space or just wanna save a little bit of cash, you can opt for a ring light from Amazon. They usually run about 25 bucks. You can clip it to your laptop, to your phone, and it will do your setup a world of justice. Here's how I set up my lights so that my face is lit up and there's not too many weird shadows behind me. You'll probably have to play around with things just a little bit to make sure that you're getting things just right. Now for something that you might not have thought about yet. If you're filming on a laptop, you're gonna need a laptop stand. You probably thought I was gonna say something like getting a personal butler to follow you around 24 seven or getting one of those drones that's flying around all the time to film you from all different angles. None of that is needed. Honestly, the key to having a professional podcast setup is to keep it simple, which is why having a laptop stand is so important. You don't wanna look like you're talking down to your audience, both figuratively, but also literally. Being almost directly at eye level with your camera and your audience in turn is essential to helping your audience feel like they're just chatting with a friend. And this is even more helpful if your background isn't necessarily suitable to being seated at a desk. Laptop stands are super cheap. You can get them on Amazon for 15 bucks, or if you're feeling thrifty, use household items like boxes or books to stack things up. So now you have the perfect setup, but how do you capture it? Podcastle has its own built-in video recorder, but using the webcam on your laptop might not be the best option. If you're recording on a newer PC, the built-in webcam is probably passable. But in 2024, if it's under 1080p, you probably wanna go with a different option. And there are a lot of options. I'm using the Elgato Facecam Pro webcam and truly the quality is fantastic. But if you don't wanna fork over a couple hundred bucks for a webcam, check your pockets. Like most of us out here, if you have an updated smartphone, you already have one of the most updated cameras available. And thanks to apps like Camo for iPhone or Droid Cam for Android, you could connect it up to your PC and actually use your phone as a webcam. But of course, if you're looking for the best of the best or maybe you're already a content creator, it might be worth it to shell out for a proper camera. Something like the Sony A6400 or the Canon 70D. Both are enormously pricey, but they do offer stunning video quality. If you ask me, I think that might be a little bit overkill for a podcast. However, this is your podcast. Like everything in this video, it is all up to you. Once you've decided on all of your podcasting equipment, I highly recommend checking out my worst 10 podcasting mistakes video. It'll save you a lot of headache. So now that we have all the equipment, here is my full setup. I'm super excited to see what everyone's podcasting setup looks like. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget about that amazing 50% off Podcastle Pro discount located in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.